so today we are going to be bleaching my Eunice Indian curly hair so as you guys know I only wear Eunice hair the first thing I'm starting with is my frontal because I want that to be the lightest so whatever you want to be the lightest bleach that first um, I'm going to show you later, but there is no exact processing time. I get that question every time I do a bleaching tutorial. How long did you leave the bleach on? I start with the frontal or the closure, and then I work my way down to... Um, I usually start with like the shortest bundle and work my way down to the longest bundle, and then I rinse in the order in which I applied the bleach, if that makes sense. So there is no processing time. Again, there is no processing time. I have no clue how long I left it on. I just started with what I wanted to be the lightest and then bleached my way downwards and then I rinsed the bleach out in that same order. So here I am mixing my bleach in my developer. I will say that the Blonde Brilliance line is going out of stock um, or being discontinued. That's what the representative at Sally's told me. So you can just use the standard like BW2 or the Clairol, like basic white bleach. You don't have to use the Blonde. Um, the Blonde Brilliance line, I just wanted to try it for the first time just to see if it was like a little bit better. I, I liked it, you know, but like I said, going <laughs> out of stock or being discontinued. So if you can find it, I do recommend that you use it. If not, you can just use the standard. Um, so I pulled some pieces out from like the, the top of the frontal or like the front of the frontal and that's just to add a little bit of dimension so everything isn't going to be blonde, like every piece isn't going to be blonde. Um, and then I'm just flipping it over and adding the bleach mixture on the back of the frontal technically. So I'm not, you know, putting this on in any specific way. Like I'm not trying to create a balayage or anything. Um, I just wanted to basically like lift the hair and it lifted, I will say that. And I used foil this time to like speed up the, the processing and just like really make sure the bleach is um, heated up so that it can really, really work in the hair. So I'm just showing you how I lay the foil out and then I'm gonna grab my bundle. Uh, this is one of the shorter bundles. Like I said, I bleach the frontal or the closure first and then the shortest bundle all the way down to the longest bundle. Um, I will go ahead and let you guys know that I do believe I overprocessed this hair. Um, there is no processing time. Again, like there wasn't an exact time frame in which I let the bleach stand. I just would bleach the frontal, move on to the next bundle, the next bundle, the next bundle. Um, I had a total of four bundles that I bleached. And then at the end of it all, I rinsed the bleach out. But I did notice that since I used foil, it was creating a lot of heat and I saw some steam coming out of the side of the foil. So um, if you don't want to like lose the curl pattern, which I will admit I did, I over processed the hair, I lost the curl pattern. So in order for me to really, um, have super pretty curls. I'm gonna have to flexi rod it or wand curl it. I wore this hair, this is a frontal sew-in that I got installed. Um, so I wore this hair to Spain on my vacation and I had to wand curl it or flexi rod it every single day. If I didn't, it was just big and poofy and it didn't really have like a curl pattern to it. So I do believe there is such a thing as over processing the hair, like over doing it with the bleach. There was one bundle it was the longest bundle since I didn't process it for that that long. It still maintained the really pretty curls that I like. So just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Um, keep an eye on the curly hair. There is such a thing as bleaching it to the point where you lose the curls because that's definitely what happened to me. So like I said, I'm just sticking to my blonde brilliance. I put it on the screen, but I use the Express 9 level. Um, powder lightener this is the extra strength one but it has extra moisture as well with the 30 cream developer and um i'm just going through all of the bundles this is i believe this is my longest bundle oh wait no i think i have like one more yeah so this is my third bundle i have a total of four so i'm just like running this mixture through it again there's no rhyme no reason i'm kind of just slathering it on and um 
yeah, that's about it. Um, I will answer a couple of frequently asked questions that I get. I did see someone ask me the last time I had curly hair, if I could straighten the curly hair and then wash it and if it, the curls would revert back. I do have a video that I made a while ago where I straightened some curly hair, but quite honestly, you guys, I don't get curly hair to straighten it. I wouldn't recommend ever getting curly hair to straighten it if you want to get straight hair. Um, well, if you want to be able to straighten your hair, get body wave hair or get loose wave hair you know don't get something like super curly for me personally if I'm gonna get curly hair I'm gonna wear it curly I'm not gonna try to straighten it or do any other styles to it I'm gonna wand curl it I'm gonna flexi rod it or I'm gonna wear it in its natural curl pattern but I'm not out here like trying to <laughs> straighten curly hair um, and see if it reverts back but that's just like my own personal preference there are tons of other like origins that you can get that you can straighten and it'll go back to its natural pattern but I don't really like to um, to taint curly hair like that so I believe this is my last bundle it's my longest bundle and I'm just slathering on this bleach mixture and again I'm letting you guys know that there is no exact processing time. You see me after every bundle, wrapping it up in the foil and setting it to the side. So I'm just going to re, uh, sorry, <laughs> rinse. <laughs> I'm like reading the screen and trying to talk at the same time. I'm just going to rinse this bleach mixture out in the order in which I applied it. So now we're at the sink and we are rinsing the bleach out. So I'm um, just like rinsing the frontal and all that good stuff. So now I'm gonna take this Blonde Brilliance Ash Blonde Lathering Toner. It's the basically purple shampoo, but I kind of wanted to stick with the with the Blonde Brilliance brand. That's a tongue twister. I kind of wanted to stick with the brand to see how the products worked. Again, um, it is being discontinued. That's what I heard. I don't necessarily see much of a difference between like this and like the standard purple shampoo. If you look, I do have like some more standard purple shampoo on the counter. So I'm not, you know, too picky about brand names and like what to use and stuff like that. I really just wanted to get all the bleach out and uh, get some purple shampoo in there. I didn't let it sit because sometimes if you let the purple shampoo sit, it will stain the hair. Um, I just really wanted to use that purple shampoo to make sure all the bleach was out and uh, really uh, tone down the brassiness of that bleach. So I'm just going through all my bundles real quick, rinsing all the bleach out, adding in my purple shampoo, thoroughly rinsing that out because we're actually going to be adding some permanent gel hair color coming up next. And then we're going to rinse that out and that's it. So let's move on to the Wella Color Charm Permanent Gel Hair Color. Now, I've seen people like Sophieology who's like bleaching tutorials I watch a lot, um, you know, and Peak Mill and other YouTubers who are really, really, really good at bleaching hair. I've seen them use like the Wella Color Charm um, like toners but for me I wanted to try some gel hair color this time just to see this is basically the same thing as me using like a box dye from like L'Oreal or, or Clairol or you know something like that so this the only difference is it's a permanent gel hair color and I use clear developer instead of cream developer so those are the only differences um, I really like how the color turned out though. So basically all I'm doing is kind of like, um, just like smorgasbording the color, I guess you say, just like slathering on this color, no rhyme or reason. I'm just dipping in to one of the bowls and just using up all that product on all the, the bundles and all the frontal, well, not all the frontals, there's only one frontal, all the bundles in the frontal. Um, just kind of put it up, put it everywhere. All the different products, in the different bowls um, I did use three different colors so I just wanted to do that to give me some dimension and the box instructs that you leave it on for like 30 to 45 minutes so I followed that um, and I didn't put this on foil I actually like put this on a towel that I didn't mind you know getting a little bit dirty so like I said allow that to process for 30 to 45 minutes um, 
I didn't cover it with any foil or any plastic wrap or anything. I just kind of let it sit out and do its thing. But I will say, make sure the area is well ventilated. It has a very strong peroxide scent to it and it can make your eyes water and just like make your nose run and get really overwhelming. So open the windows, turn on the fan, do whatever you need to do to get that area really ventilated. But after 30 to 45 minutes, I went ahead and rinsed it out. This is the point where I noticed, okay, I feel like I kind of over processed the hair a little bit. I was running my Denman brush through the hair to make sure I got all the product out, but also to detangle it because um, I was gonna take the hair just like that to my stylist, Touched by TJ. So I did pick up a Shea Moisture hair mask. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and just try to like, it's like adding silicone mix or just like letting your hair sit in conditioner. But since it was curly hair, I just wanted to use like, you know, a product that I saw at Sally's just for uh, curl restoration and just to add moisture back into the hair after processing it. Now, like I said earlier, I did over process the hair because of the bleach and how long I left it on. I don't think it was the strength of the developer. It might have been the strength of the powder lightener that I used because it was express level nine. Like I got some really like blonde pieces um, between the powder lightener and the gel hair color. But again, just going through my frontal and my bundles, adding the Shea Moisture hair mask. I think it was like a moisture, or like restoration hair mask. Um, something that you can just easily pick up at Sally's. I applied that to all the hair and I let that sit for about an hour and then I went ahead and rinsed it out. So yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, I did have a little bit of shedding because like I said, I overprocessed it. My stylist touched by TJ had to cut some of the ends off because you know, your girl tried, I tried. So I think you can definitely dye your hair or bleach your hair at home yourself. It's totally fine. Um, but just, just be careful. So you saw me apply the hair mask. I'm rinsing it out and setting it to the side. Um, I went ahead and added another layer off camera and let that sit while I went and like took a shower and did my makeup and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You're going to see some clips of the hair as soon as I rinsed it out. And then you're going to see clips of what it looked like at the end. Um, I am going to do a chit chat you ready with me hair edition since I did over process the hair unfortunately. I am going to show you how I wear it, which is in wand curls um, or in flexi rods. Let me know in the comment section down below if you would like to see a flexi rod tutorial or if you would like to see a wand curl tutorial. Um, in the video that you guys select, I will put the link to the flexi rods in the description box or the link to the um, wand that I use. I will just put my own personal preference in there. I prefer the wand curls, but it's whatever you guys want to see. So this is going to be what the hair looked like before I put on the second layer of the hair mask um, and let it sit for about an hour. And this is the end result. This is what my hair looks like on vacation. This is after I fell in the pool on complete accident. And then this is what it looked like before I fell in the pool. So. Yeah, that is it. Until next time, stay beautiful. I love you guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.